Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with For the Worthy. We're in... Gotten through the Lizard Temple. Uh, but there's a bit of a problem at the end of it. It did occur to me later on that there's one thing I haven't checked. Uh, with the... What am I doing? Checking the lizard pressure plates in here. Uh, that's a lot of lizard crap. Okay, let's let's make a special chest for that. That was rude. Okay. Lizard chest can go... Somewhere. Do we have any of these that are empty? Kinda. Yeah. Okay. Lizard chest go here. Lizard crap go here. Um, anything... Don't the solar tablets only get turned into so many thingies? Let me just double check. Twisty P, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They do. Um, so I'm just gonna make those. Oh, we need like a lizard altar or something. Mithril anvil, actually. So the tablet. Um, I'll just chuck it in with the other summon stuff. And then. Let me just get this out of the way up there. Lizard, 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 sort items, lizard, lizard, okay, into the brown chest with you, except for you. Lizard furnace can be used for making cosmetic stuff, not going to be bothering with that. And then, I've actually still got a whole lot of crap that I haven't sorted out yet. Um, can we quick stack some of it? Apparently not. Um, that's a Plantera mask, actually. Spore sack. I could almost see myself using this for fishing, but I kind of already don't really have spare slots. I don't know, it might help protect from, uh, from corruptors and stuff, maybe not. Needs more trains? Mucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, it also needs more hunter potions. That's uh, I don't think I did have hunter potions when I confronted the golem. And I wouldn't be shocked one way or the other. Either hunter potions are going to reveal the golem, even though it's everything's pitch black, and it's going to be a much, 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 much easier fight, or it's not. I don't know which it's going to be. Wooden spike can get out of here. This can go in here somewhere. Actually, we may as well make a charm of myths. I should have double-checked, but I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that gets um, upgraded into. And sell this crap. Should probably put the Klinger banner somewhere. Downstairs. Uh, let's see. Cell phone or shell phone. Underworld. And... Linger banner, if it's not already, goes here somewhere. More for yourself. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
on this crap. And then... What are we left with? KO Cannon. Don't think I'll be using that, but we'll keep it in the collection. Uh, I've actually got a bunch of Lizard Banners. I guess we'll place those as we go. Thorn Hook. Is that better than... Uh, than my current hook? Let's see. If I stand here... Whoops. Bloody double tap dash. We can reach... About here... Or... I think that's slightly further. And we can probably have more hooks coming out as well. Yeah, let's go with that. Fantastic. Um, I think I'll chuck the tendon hook in the collection. In KO cannon as well. And what else we got? Nature's gift, Hermes boots, magic dagger, some jungle torches, and a bottomless lava bucket. Sell this. Sell this. Put these away. Probably quick stack them. No, apparently not. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Nature's Gift, we just upgrade. There's only one path at first. One mana potion. Okay, let's get back to the jungle temple. Now that our inventory is a bit more sorted out. This should go here. Is there a world where I want to use the Avenger emblem? Maybe. What would I swap? We're not going to be flying around in that fight, so maybe the wings, actually. Alright. Let's get our summons out. If we can find them. Where the heck are my summons? They're normally here. Why, why is my Molten Axe in this slot? Oh no. You'd better not be telling me the summon weapon from Duke Fishron got dropped on the ground or something. Oh no, that one's so hard to get. I killed him like 20 times and I got one of those. Oh, here it is. No, we got... I, I tell a lie, we got like several. Also... <laughs> This one's ruthless. Thank God for that. I don't know why it was in there. It must have got somehow like swapped out so that it wasn't uh, favorited and then got quick stacked over here. All right. So now we need to go back to the temple. I'd say the easiest way to do that is to go down here. And can I join? It's not multiplayer. That homie. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright. I guess we'll start by going to the underworld. Give me that speed buff. And then... Just fly over to where the temple is. How far is it? Not far at all. Okay, we have arrived. 
Um, so putting lights down didn't really help us see uh, the Dungeon Guardian. Uh, I might put down a Heart Lantern while we're at it. And I could also do a Star Lantern, but that doesn't really do much. Not even carrying them. Um, I could enable flight. I don't think that's going to help us. We need to be a, a bit more maneuverable. What is that? That is one of those nasty vines. Okay. Um, we've got damage. We've got... We don't actually... Oh, yuck. Uh, I didn't actually bring any... Damage reduction. Endurance potions. Since this killed us last time, I think we'd better be prepared. Um, let's drop another one of these. Oh good, a blood moon. Perfect. We're, we're just going to ignore that. Oh. Except it'll be possible to fish up enemies here. I'm pretty sure we can't fish up Dread Nautilus, so I don't think we need to worry. Also, I might just use some fishing potions and sonar potions so that we don't have to bring up a wandering eye fish, for example. I'm just looking for... Uh, what is it called? I can't remember the name of it, but it's like Tough Rockfish. Um, can't believe... Scaly Truffle. Huh. I'll definitely take Prismite when we get it. Armored Cavefish, that's it. We need those for... Uh, endurance potions. I really just need one to attempt the boss fight, but... We may as well try for a couple. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Best day of the week, indeed. I guess I'll take a crate. What's this on my head? Little star thingy. Oh, is it the spore sack? I think it's the spore sack. No. What? Wait, what just happened? Who is hitting? Oh, the spore sacks go through the walls. Damn. Uh, that's kind of good. That's stronger than I expected. I I must admit. Just goes to show I never really tried this thing properly. That's some good cheese right there. Probably be good for a monster farm. I don't think the spore sacks are gonna, like, follow me. Oh, they sort of are now. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh, rip. Holy crap. I didn't think it would one-shot me. What the hell? I forgot that For the Worthy is like this. Common enemies can one-shot you, even when you have lots of armor. Um, If I go back to the snow pylon, I'm pretty sure... The blood eel is still going to be there. That shouldn't be a reason not to go, though. Let's just heal up. I don't want to waste any potions for this. Oh, no. Uh, you know what? Have some spore sacks. Yeah, that's one way to deal with the, uh, the Blood Moon. Yay! 
<laughs> Sometimes these things throw chattering teeth bombs that chase. There it is. That little guy will one shot you without it being a special difficulty seed. Anyway, let's see if we can't. I think the eel is gone. Okay, that works. Um, shoot. Let's do some more fishing. Oh, I forgot. It's Blood Moon and I don't have a sonar potion. There we go. Give me that prismite. Imagine being late, shameful Veldak. But I started later than usual. Veldak, good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I'm still looking for just a single armored cave fish, by the way. Since we started this whole thing. I really wish they weren't so damn rare. Combined with only lasting four minutes. I'm on a mission visiting all SE pyramids. Nice. How many are there? Zombie merman we don't want. Dimon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much longer do we have to wait for an armored cave fish? That's a balloon puffer fish. That's a pearl wood crate. I just don't want to make another data card build and procrastinating. Fair enough. After putting off bio for so long, I can hardly judge. I'm pretty sure I will do a little spaghetti build for bio 2 since we need such a small volume of it to unlock uh, advanced chemical plants and then we need the advanced chemical plants to make nice builds for the bio 1 and 2 Harry uh, I really wish Terraria would have some RNG smoothing Especially when it comes to fishing. It should not potentially take 20 minutes to get an armored cave fish. Come on now. Mute? I'm not muted. How dare you. Uh, Zach, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Prismite is supposed to be rare. Like, I mean it is, but it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be ten times more common than armored cave fish. I wonder if these do summon damage or magic damage or what. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. And you watch, as soon as we get armored cave fish, we'll get like three in a row. Ooh. I'm, I'm suddenly very interested in the spore sack. Like, when it comes to cheesing ridiculously OP enemies like this. Like, yes please. It does a lot of damage as well. I guess the blood moon is over? Yeah, it's 5.13am. I imagined I would just be spending like two minutes fishing before the boss fight, but here we are. Didn't get the rare drop over there, nope. Okay, fine, I'll 
fish for it down. Let me pick this stuff up first. Down this way. There we go. There's an armored cave fish. And two. I guess they are a lot more common in the vanilla underground cave biome. Or it could just be RNG being clumpy and there's no way to tell without, like, digging into the game's files or going to the wiki and stealing, grabbing the information from someone who has. Um, cave fish, that's like, what, four, three? Golden cup, sure, why not? I kind of still want the magnet while I'm fishing. What can I swap? Double jump would seem to be a bad idea. Dash would be a bad idea. Wings would be a bad idea. Water walking boots? Just kind of a... Like, quality of life thing, sort of. But it, so, so, so is the treasure magnet. Even more so. I might take the spore off when I'm done fishing, though, because I like to be able to quickly switch to this loadout uh, just to activate the treasure magnet sometimes. Alright, one more armored, and... We shall... Pick up some potions. At least six. Slight misclick there. At least six endurance potions. We got nine. That's not too bad. I am down to only one rage potion. Um, but I'm not going to go farming for it right now. Let's just hope we can kill the boss in one try. Alright. Grab our second summon. Check our gear, mage damage, uh, razor blade typhoon, bubble gun. Bubble gun might not be the worst idea. We've got to be really careful though. Uh, we could quickly switch to ranger damage, except. Well, we could pretty quickly switch to ranger damage, I guess. Or I could have the 16% class agnostic damage buff. Sorry, it's warding. It's only 12% damage. How are you? Not too bad. I wonder if your 200 fishing power is giving you bad luck for the more common fish? Um, I don't think... I, I don't think the armored cave fish are that common, but it would work that way. It is an interesting thought, though. I'd love to put the lightning rod on the ceiling for visibility reasons for this fight. But I don't think it's going to accomplish anything, to be honest. Hmm. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Alright, um, just, oh, I can't make a summoner potion right now, don't have any varigrade large fish, we'll skip that, it's not gonna make that much difference. Alright, so lightning rod, it's gonna be on the floor. I don't know if light is even gonna show us the golem or not. I'm hoping Hunter Potion will. But I was about to say here goes, but actually I forgot the thingies. Actually, I could have 
I could have grabbed it through the safe, through the piggy bank. Oh well. Good. Luck? I can't see it. The hunter potion does nothing. I'm just gonna have to try and, like, semi stochastically dodge um, the flying head. Oh, this is kind of on the ceiling, that thing that I wanted for the light source that, as expected, turns out to be useless. Alright. Um, I guess I can look at the map to see where the golem is, but it's not going to show the golem head anyway. Ow, ow, ow. I shouldn't have added those distractions. I'm going to die. Maybe I should reset, and we won't lose our potion buffs entirely when we restart the fight. Just got to regen, because I don't want the potion sickness debuff either. Why do you keep saying... Muted. Budgie Bum? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hi. Hi, and thank you very much for the six months of Prime. Much appreciated. Alright, let's get back into it. Before we... Oh, cool. We immediately lose our invulnerability. Nice. Why is there a flying snake in here? Go away. Obviously, it's not too hard to dodge the fireballs just yet. It's going to get a lot worse. Some of the fireballs are much faster than others. It's like some kind of different fireball. I don't think that's in the regular... regular mode. Also, I should put away the Hunter Potions, because we're just wasting them. We can't see anything. Ouch. Oh my god, how many lasers? Oh, I can see the... okay, the Hunter Potion is worth. We can see the flying thing, at least. That's actually the biggest threat by far. Hunter potion worth. Ow! Holy crap! Holy crap! Please, please survive for long enough. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We did it. Okay. Okay. As is light. Okay. We did it, Reddit. As a... As a... As a... As a, as a, as a bait, bait shots. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Goofy, thank you very much for the raid, and welcome to for the worthy Terraria without boss fight arenas. Asterisk. What are we eyeing? Playing Snowrunner. Fantastic. Thanks, damsel. Best mods on Twitch. Alright, let's open our treasure bag. We get Pixor. And now... Um... What? You're joking. Did... Did the lava kill the unique item? I... I think it's gone. Um... So quite a while ago they made it so that... Sufficiently rare things... Certain things dropped into lava just don't disintegrate. Uh, but apparently the one... 
thing on the entire map that can't be replaced that summons the golem if we want to kill him again. Uh, it's gone. It, it's just gone. If I were to like destroy this pixel by mistake, uh, I don't know. Would we be in big trouble, or are we able to start the? Uh, I can never completely remember the whole progression curve. But, um, that's really unfortunate. Uh, we could suffice to say, if I hadn't done that, if I drained the lava first, um, we'd be able to... Uh, put the thingy that summons Gollum up here, and we can fight fight him out in the open, and it's 700,000 times more easy to kill him that way. The whole fight is, you know, balanced for you being stuck in a fairly small arena. But we got our new pickaxe. We, we, we beat him. It's fine. It's not like Gollum items... Like, the, there's nothing that's particularly super important to be able to farm there or anything. Console hacks? We'll be fine. So I'd better not sell this shiny stone, that's for sure. Um, if I want to be able to heal quickly. Oh, I can't right-click it to swap. Really? Really, really? Okay. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate this with some teleport spam. If you just sit still, shiny stone makes health go up rather quickly. Rather, rather quickly. Wait, I, I can right click it now. What's the difference? What just, what changed? That's weird. We also got, oh, we got Golem Fist. If there's one weapon that I would actually want from Gollum, I think it would be Stinger. And I guess I'm not selling that Gollum relic in case I ever change my mind about wanting to put uh, put that on display. Alright, let's chuck it in here. Everything Lizard Temple. Oh no! There was something we want to farm from him. Or potentially, anyway. Beetle husks. I don't think there's another source of these. The tankiest armor in the game. Uh, we need... 4, 8, 12... 12 plus... 6? 18? We've got enough. I'm still not gonna farm that, but like... Well, I guess if we wanted the wings as well, we'd be sad. But yeah, um... Uh, this is... I think it's the tankiest armor in the game until you get the armor set that's post-Moon Lord. But tanky isn't going to do anything for us in this playthrough. Step Damsel, Step Sky, what? I am the Sky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, anyway, so we can sell pick, uh, pickaxe axe. I'll just put the beetle husk away over here, as if we're ever going to do anything with it. Um, and do we want to do? Oh, we've actually got. We've actually got a corruption key already, so there's at least one reason to go into post plantera dungeon. Uh, especially if we found, if we found the corruption chest already. Apparently we found everything but. Um, seriously though, it seems like, it seems like we found everything but the corruption chest. Post-Plantera Dungeon's pretty much completely optional, though, right? The 
there's a lot of optional stuff between us and uh, this fight right here. But since we've got uh, Duke Feshron gear, I think we can probably just go for it. I would like a bullet weapon, because the Razorblade Typhoon isn't that great for this fight. And homing bullets are very nice if we're going to go ranger. But... What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? And, I mean, it's not like we're playing on a seed that makes extra tough boss fights or anything. This is actually reasonably easy so far. Just maintain moderate dist- oh, there's the big threat. A very big threat, at least it didn't one-shot us this time. Could use some health though. Where's the worm? I'm pretty much only worried about the worm right now. Did we get rid of it? Oh, oh, that that is the last thing I expected. Okay. I wish it would show the worm on the map. He hasn't spawned him for a minute. It's, it's probably about time. There it is. Well, it's not too hard to beat it, especially with something that hits multi-segmented enemies well. Oh, wow. We've done, like, no damage. Um, His health bar was at, like, 75%. I don't think... I think Razorblade Typhoon spam is the way to go. I think we should, um, an owl. I, I think we should get a better bullet weapon. And for that, you can't beat the Frost Moon. We could probably go straight to the Frost Moon. Um, how do we make the... I think we need Ectoplasm. Oh, that, that we do need the... Plantera dungeon for. Yeah, and I think the other thing that we needed was Hallowed Bar, so we can show the guide a little bit of Hallowed Bar and confirm. I should probably get higher max health as well. Uh, Pumpkin Moon Medallion. That's for the Pumpkin Moon, that's different. I can't remember what we need for the... For the Frost Moon? But it definitely involves Ectoplasm. Oh, Mimic. So this is where we really have to be careful. Actually, I should go Summoner. Maybe. I do have Razorblade Typhoon. We've got two really strong summons and Razorblade Typhoon. It's probably fine. Gotta really watch out for the possibility of getting sniped though. There's our ectoplasm. Bone Lee is not very useful against us in this space. Fantastic. This is actually a pretty good spot. I don't think we're deep enough to get um, tactical skeletons, sniper skeletons, paladins. I could be wrong. But since we're only looking for ectoplasm, we may as well 
to stay here. Ooh, a rocket launcher. Honestly, rocket launchers aren't my favorite weapon until you get the best one, which is a uh, snowman cannon. It fires homing rockets that you can't hurt yourself with. At a very high rate of fire. Alright, let's get like 20 ectoplasm before we go back. Give me that. Rod of Discord is so good. I think we don't need keys anymore, actually. Give me that Ecto. Is that a Paladin? It is. Gotta be careful. Gotta be real careful. Oh, these are stronger than I thought. How tanky is that paladin? I don't really have time to see his... Okay, he's on like 60%. He's the paladin, because otherwise he'll kill us ridiculously quickly. Probably one shot even. Oh, he's like hiding. Did I get him? Fantastic. Alright, what do we got? 17 Ecto. Got another three. Oh, another paladin. So they can spawn here. How deep are we? 750-ish. I wish I had... Oh, crap. I wish I had a long ago range. I, I sort of do, but it's not really a DPS spell. It's not bad, I guess. I'll just stick to spamming discs. Oh! I didn't really even see the hammer until it almost killed me. Did we get him? Fantastic. Give me all of this and we are out. I guess I stopped at 18 ectoplasm. It's fine. Uh, key brand does more damage to injured foes. Interesting choice. Pretty high rate of fire and knockback, though. I mean, considering how many melee weapons aren't melee weapons this late into the game, if, if you're going to have, like, a regular swinging sword, it'd better be good somehow. Let's put our extra cross necklace up here. Uh, ectoplasm. Oh, it is needed for the pumpkin moon as well. S five soul of fright. Um, I don't really want to have to fight Mr. Fright again. Skeletron Prime, because it'll fuck up the... Uh, the terrain, but I think we already built everything that we want to, and we can do uh, seven 
seven summons for the frost moon, so hopefully we won't have to kill him again. Um, and we need some silk, right? I think cobwebs go in some potions, so I have them in here. And then we make silk. A couple of hundred. Should be far more than enough. And we might need a demon altar or something. Nope. And just make... Oh, it's... What did I run out of? Ectoplasm. I ran out of ectoplasm. Fair enough. Uh, this thing only works at night, I'm pretty sure. And probably just as well. Might put on ranger gear for just a little bit. Was I wearing ranger gear the entire time I fought the golems? Oh well. Let's go for some tsunami goodness. Or, and or maybe some hellfire arrows. Um, I could go even more damage. Since we don't need the mana flower. That puts us up to 106 damage on Tsunami without the Wrath buff. And I don't think I should mess around otherwise. Actually... I might switch to a bit of Razorblade Typhoon when the vampires are flying at me. Sometimes. So we'll take some magic stuff. And that leaves us with... Uh, all day. Before it's time to trigger the Frost Moon. Hmm. Well, in that case I should probably try and get some Rage Potions. Let's go to the Crimson Ocean. Do a little fishing. And we're just looking for Hemo Piranha. Fantastic. We only need, what, three to get through the entire night? Assuming we don't die. I think if we do die, it just stops the whole Frost Moon event, though. We need to not die, because we need to get a significant number of waves into the event. So that... We can kill some... Ice Queens? They're the only ones who drop the... Uh, what is it called? What is it called? Snowman Cannon. Uh, but actually what I'm looking for from this Frost Moon is the Chain Gun. It's the best DPS bullet weapon we're going to get for a while. And we need a bullet weapon because we want homing bullets against the uh, cultist. They do a bit less damage, of course, but suffice to say, hitting with almost every bullet uh, on a small, uh, on a tiny target that's flying around at high speed and long range in the air 
uh, you're going to average a bit higher on the damage that way. Just a little bit. How much time do we have? Like seven minutes? We've already got nine Hemoprana, that's excellent. Make it ten, and then we'll go back and make some Chlorophyte bullets. Also, I could make myself um, the blue armor, a Shroomite armor for Ranger. We'll deal more damage with that. Uh, and we'll have a bit more armor, but honestly, it's really questionable whether it's better than being able to take one hit without taking damage every 30 seconds-ish. Okay, quick stack. And... What was I doing? We need to make a bunch of... Rage Potions. Fantastic. And then we need what? Uh, Chlorophyte Bullets. I need some mud to replace the Chlorophyte, so we can do it again later. Did I keep my mud in here now? Yes, I did. Alright, so we're just gonna block swap. Oh, that's fast. That is fast! With all the mining gear. Nice. Of course, if we got hit, we'd die. What's the green wire thing? Green wire thing. Oh, this? Uh, that is the owl. The owl spammer. Owls away. Dun 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 Whoops. Give me some more of this. We've already got 94... Oh, we've actually, actually got a decent clunk, uh, chunk of chlorophyte bars already. Owls, indeed. Um, let's grab some from here. Wow, I can reach all the way over there. That's extremely convenient. Uh, and then I made a bunch more of them that are a bit more dangerous to collect. Down this way. Uh, Timofejg, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Here we go. We just have to leave one chlorophyte here and it'll all grow back. should be some more down this way. Did I not make any more? There might be some in the underworld. I'm pretty sure there's some in the underworld. Oh, that was dangerous. That was actually really dangerous. Alright. Speaking of dangerous, let's grab this stuff without our armor on real quick. Oh, I can actually reach all of it. Fantastic. And I think I left some down here as well. Nope. Alright, let's be gone. T-Hacks, what weapon would you recommend for Skelly Boy? I tried Mini Shark and it didn't go too well. Uh, I take it you mean the first Skeletron? Um, something higher impact, because he's got a bit more armor, I think. I can't remember what I did use. Star Cannon, if you can be a for if you can bother to, uh, save up the stars. That's a sure way to beat him. Except for on this seed. They don't want you using Star Cannon on For the Worthy. 
All right, uh, we need a bunch of musket balls. Did I leave some more down here? Or do I need to buy some? Here we go. Now let's make all the homing bullets we can. Sadly, it's only 6,000. And... Quick stack that away, put this in here. I don't think I will use the Hellfire Arrows. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, what's the time? 5.30? Well, the homing bullets are no good to us yet, because we don't have, um... I mean, we do have a bullet weapon, it's just outdated. Well, all of our bullet weapons are outdated. We've got Mega Shark, uh, Clockwork Assault Rifle, and Phoenix Blaster, I guess. I could look for a better bullet weapon in the post Planterra dungeon. I don't think that risk justifies the reward, to be honest. Besides which, it's not bullet weapon that's going to help us um, fighting the Frost Moon, for the most part. Although, it might be worth carrying Mega Shark with homing bullets, if only for when the vampires chase us. Or something like that. Actually, wouldn't the bubble gun do just as well? Maybe. I never did upgrade the flamethrower. I'm not really happy with this count of uh, booming bullets either. Alright. Now I probably... Probably should take some piercing arrows. Uh, and I, I, I think I will try using Hellfire Arrows with the Daedalus Stormbow for a meme. Alright, let's turn off the forced wire display. There we go. And then... Oh, time to get started. Away we go. We can just spam magic against these little things, even if we're range of spec right now. Don't underestimate them, though. You know what? Screw it. My ammo is just... it only costs money. Let's use the... let's get used to these explodey arrows with the tsunami. They're actually not that bad, especially with the way the knockback keeps them at range and then bunches them up for the AoE. Alright. Oops. Rip invulnerability. We're not killing them that quickly. That's our first boss. Let's use the Venom arrows, they're a bit stronger. Killing it pretty quickly. Could be better. Let's be a bit more careful. Give me those hearts. I didn't mean to pick up all of them though. These things are no joke. Get rid of them quickly. Alright, where's that boss? Am I hitting it? No, 
Hand ist. There we go. Go up in the air and then float down and find the angle. That's one way to do it. This is what can drop our chain gun for us. Um, it could also kill us shockingly quickly if we're not careful. Or lucky. Because off-screen shenanigans are a thing. Hurry up and die, please. There we go. It doesn't drop chain gun often, so we'll probably have to kill like 10 of them at least. To get what we're looking for here. I think the owls might be reducing the enemy spawns. Oops. Uh, I'm, I'm lost. Okay, that was, that was close. I almost ran straight into one of those bombs. I somehow hit the wrong key, and instead of flipping gravity, I teleported. Yeah, I'm definitely preferring the, uh... being able to take a hit for free every once in a while, as opposed to dealing just a little bit more damage right now. Especially on this seed. There's our friend. I'm gonna hunt to find the Santa at a safe distance though. much easier to tell where the uh, Christmas tree is. There we go. There we go. Get him. With any luck, we've already found our chain gun. say with any luck, I think it would probably actually take quite a bit of luck for us to have dropped a train, a chain gun by now. Train gun? That sounds awesome. Let's switch back to the Hellfire arrows for these guys. I like the way it herds them into one spot to get hit by. I guess I can look on the map to see where the Santa is. Ooh, that's not the safest strategy. Hovering above it. Is that what I think it is? No, never mind. And I need to swap ammo back. The flight height from these wings certainly helps. We can just go over the bombs. Get out of here, Santa. Oh, that's what we're looking for as well. This has... This is the Ice Queen. She has a very small chance to drop one of my favorite weapons in the game. Strong enough to do the, uh, to deal with the pillars, and it gives you homing missiles for something that you can just spend money on instead of farming. And 
she's getting wrecked. Hurry up and die, please. It's already 3 a.m. Yeah, our DPS isn't great for being up to the Frost Moon. Um, but if we're lucky, some of our. Oh, there it is! Snowman Cannon! Hell yes! That's extremely lucky. That could have been bad. I mean, it was bad. Gotta make sure I hit her as soon as possible for the reset on the invulnerability. She's going to fly away in like one minute. I don't think I can kill her in time. Yeah, I think... I think she's going to fly away. We should just avoid her. I don't think I can kill her in time. Twenty seconds and we're done ski. Uh oh. I guess I could try and finish this thing off. It's gonna run straight at me. Fantastic. Present Mimic. Did I also get the toy tank? I think I saw a toy tank in there. Alright, what do we got? Time to open our presents. Ever played through Dyson Sphere program? Not to the end, no. Uh, so we went straight from rocket launcher to snowman cannon. That is beautiful. Elf melter is a better flamethrower. Um, I don't think we got that. We got three toy tanks. Well, that's something. Um. Oh. <gasps> I was just about to say, I don't think we got the chain gun, though. And looky looky. That was... That's the most ridiculously lucky haul I think I've ever had for one of these events. We literally got everything that I'm looking for on the first try. Um, and I didn't even have much, like, DPS. We didn't get many drops. Fan bloody tastic. Let's put the old flamethrower away. It is now obsolete. Uh, elf melter. Oh, wow, it's blue. That's kind of cool. Elf melter can go here, perhaps. Uh, and then chain gun. Where did I put it? Where Where's my precious? There we go. I think I'll just put that in slot one for now. 54 ranged damage compared to 50 for the mega shark. But I'm pretty sure it's significantly faster. Even though they both say insanely fast speed. Let's do a quick DPS test. So... Mega Shark? With regular bullets? Let's get rid of the minions so I can walk closer. Alright, so not that range matters, but point blank, we're definitely not missing any shots. DPS with Mega Shark is. I was gonna say around 500. But I guess if we're lucky, it's 6 to 700. We're getting some really weird 
spikes. We have lots of crits here. 28% critical strike chance, and it was like all of the crits for a minute. Anyway, let's call it 600 DPS, maybe. Uh, how about the chain gun? With no demonic, by the way. E yeah, that's... Uh, that might be a little faster. It might be double the DPS. It's not as accurate, but it doesn't need to be when we're getting a gun explicitly so that we can do homing bullets. Just out of curiosity now, um, is Tsunami falling behind? Nope. Not if we can make it all hit, anyway. Tsunami's still better if... if we can make everything hit. But... Chain Gun with Homing Bullets is going to be very, very, very nice against the Cultist. Alright, let's get this thing upgraded. Reforge... what's the damage? Uh, only 11... less than 12 gold. And we've got 6.6 .6 plat. We can probably get this to Unreal. Godly is pretty good. Maybe I should have stopped. Since this is uh, not a weapon that we're going to be using for terribly long. I'm down to 2.5 plat. I think I should probably just stick with Ruthless here. I should have gone with Godly. Alright, let's put the old Mega Shark away. And... Try our luck with the Cultist. Seems good. Yeah, let's go for it. Wait, is it too early? No. No, it is not. For a second I thought it was... Uh, I forgot about the mushroom biome there, and I thought... Um, I thought the darkness was because of the mystic, mysterious tablet. All right, let's go. Let's go. That's a bit better. And I don't have to concentrate super hard on aiming. Dodging is more important. So far, so easy. Did he just... Oh, okay. Oh god. Lucky my invulnerability kicked in there. Uh, I got confused as to how to dodge that. Okay. That teleport did not go where slash when I expected. I thought the dragon would be coming in like right about then and there. He doesn't move like usual worm enemies. No. Um, I, I, I think it's I think it's for the worthy, but he tracks the worm tracks me like way, 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 way better than normal. Maybe I should use piercing arrows and switch to those. Or I could use the elf melter as well. Maybe elf melter. I'll try using the elf melter on the worm when it comes at me. 
Except the the trouble with the worm is you, there's no icon on the map to tell you where it is, and it's so fast and it comes from off screen that like, yeah, it's not great. What's also not great is how we have to wait till tomorrow to attempt this damn thing again when we'll have completely lost any of the muscle memory that we just learned for how to fight this boss. Um, so that's cool. No, wait, the other thing. Should probably grab some more chlorophyte bullets in the meantime. What does the name in base do when you're streaming Terraria? Uh, nothing. I thought I disabled it. West dude redeemed it once, but... And I did my best, but, um... It's a big, big pain doing a name in base in Terraria, and they're too big. Okay, there we go. Alright. That was going well, except for the part where I completely derped it up. Um, with the worm boss coming. Bullet weapon that doesn't pierce is no good against worm enemy. I think I'll go for piercing arrows as well. They're not the strongest. Um, but they don't need to be. We can delete that worm pretty quickly if we hit it with the right stuff. And now I'm thoroughly annoyed that I have to wait until morning for the privilege of attempting that boss fight again. Uh, let's use the map to check for chlorophyte. I really haven't made any more farms for it. I mean, we've we've got a decent amount. I've still oh, there's one over here. Oh yeah, yeah, and one up here as well. All right, cool. That's a start. That's twice as much chlorophyte farming as I remembered that I'd done. Um, what am I doing? Underworld. This way. I forgot to bring the mud. Just gonna block swap in... Where the hell is the rest of it? Uh, just gonna block... It's probably in my void bag. No? Block swap in some mud. So that we can do this again later. Oh wait, shoot. If we wanted to be super safe, like if we were playing hardcore, then we should probably just make these next to towns only. fast here. Leave a little bit of it behind. Fantastic. Alright, how many chlorophyte bullets did that earn us? Fifteen bars equals... What did I just put in my inventory? What are these? Uh, Fifteen bars equals... What? Where are the bullets? Nine hundred bullets. Not bad. Not bad. We could do the frost moon again, but with the 
with the chain gun. I don't want to be using chlorophyte bullets that I have to farm for an event like this. But we could go for golden bullets. I meant to say high velocity bullets. They're, they're a very similar color. Uh, they pierce through everything, so... We can situationally get some very high DPS with that. And we'll use the Venom Arrow for single target DPS. I also want to try out the Elf Melter. And remind myself that it's there. I'm looking for something with plus velocity, because it'll basically increase the Flamer's range. Uh, that'll do it. It'd be better if we had some... some damage as well, but that does maximize the range. Should have just done it and not ask? Wait, what? Oh no. That's too cruel. Uh, so the toy tank, if you're not familiar... Let me just demonstrate it somewhere. Relatively safe. The toy tank is actually a mount that shoots things. For the ultimate AFK experience. Or maybe for fishing. You could use it for fishing, I guess. It'd be nice if we could find a target. There we go. There we go. And there's our vulture banner. Yeah, it's actually pretty relentless with the bullets. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe arguably even worth using... One of two or three, I guess. Uh, potentially decent combat mounts. Maybe I should try it. Should I try it? Let's try it. I'm gonna swap out the slime saddle. Slimy saddle. I don't suppose this thing may also makes us fall quickly. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Um, so I'd better keep that in mind. <laughs> Press R for more DACA, not for rolling and jumping faster. Need to quick stack this stuff away. There we go. Alright, once more naughty present. And all of the DACAs. Oh, are we playing Ranger now? The inaccuracy of the chain gun really is um, reducing our effective DPS here, though. Let's try the Elf Melter. True to its namesake. It's obviously a bit more dangerous not being able to fly very high. Probably be using the tsunami here. Oh god. Well that was fast. I don't know why I'm surprised. Can we continue the uh Frost Moon or does it get reset? Oh, we're good. I didn't buff myself for this either, that's probably a bad idea. I really shouldn't stay at ground level against this thing.
Did it teleport? It did. It fucking teleported. No, it's a different one. That's bad too. Very rude spawning another one of those behind me. China has limited range though. I have to be uncomfortably close to things to trigger the uh the toy tank actually shooting stuff. I'm not a fan of that. Maybe if I played melee. Oh good, Santa's here. Oh, I forgot to get ammo for the snowman cannon. God damn it, that's way better than the elf melter. Even for that specific use case. What time is it? 12 a.m.? I don't want to keep this up for another four and a half minutes. Oh no. it spawns another one in almost exactly the same place the nanosecond I kill it. Two centimeters off screen. Oh no, not that pet. That always makes me think there's a missile chasing me or something. Pretty sure the uh, snowman cannon's gonna be more than good enough against the the worm, and we can spam it at range and not have to guess when this worm is coming as much. This thing kind of reminds me of uh, Bio Menace, those big robot enemies. There's an old reference. I think this thing makes me a bit faster horizontally, actually. Ignoring the fact that I could dash. If I don't really have any more bosses where I need to use the slime mount, and one could argue I didn't need it for Duke Fish Run, um, but it's kind of a get out of fail free card sometimes. Then maybe I could start working this thing in to squeeze out a bit more damage. Oh! Now I should probably be using homing bullets. I've only got a minute to kill this thing. It's probably not going to happen. Ow, 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 I did not see that tiny little fleck of snow as a big enough threat.
Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. No. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Where is she? This is harassment. Hi, please. There we go. Uh, just Justine Brylev Bellian. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we finish off this Santa before the sun comes up, uh, comes up? Maybe. Maybe we're out of time. Oh god. Oh god. That's kind of scary. Even though he's actually fleeing. And, oh, this thing hurts a lot. It's just as well, I thought this was a pickup. It's just as well that I had my invulnerability on. Hey man, what drag you into this game just saying? How many times have you beat Terraria? Um, I don't know, like 10 or something, maybe? The Moon Lord's kind of a chore, so I haven't necessarily finished every playthrough I've ever done. Give me all this stuff. And now we can probably do that other boss fight that we were killing time to wait for. Uh, I seem to be out of potions, but I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, where is it? Prismite? We're missing uh, max life potions? Yep, I accidentally... the entire... What just happened? What just happened? Seriously. Did I run out of... some kind of potion ingredient? Uh, moon glow, shiverthorn, water leaf. Moon glow, water leaf, and shiverthorn. I don't see shiver. Yeah, I think we're out of shiverthorn. Whoops. Let's grab some of that. I did plant a bunch of it all over the place here. Uh, I should really do something about my inventory. Didn't know you could plant it underwater. I hate how if you've got Shiverthorn seeds in your hand and you replace a Shiverthorn with them and it drops seeds, uh, it doesn't put those seeds into your hand as well. You gotta, like, do something like this. That was a good flight. Oh my god. Inventory management. It needs it. Don't think we really need a vulture banner. Alright, let me go pick this crap up. sure I don't miss any of it. Alright, five more seeds. There we go. Fantastic. Don't go to the ocean. Alright. Let's actually spend at least 12 seconds organizing inventory. Naughty present. 
goes with the other summoning stuff. Bombs. We go in here. Do I have any more bombs? I don't think so. We don't need like three toy tanks. Uh, where is it? I've got it here. This goes back in the money trough. And Razor Pine's kind of a meme. I think it pierces, so that could be good against the worm as well. In any case, we'll sell one of them. Don't care about Christmas Hook. This is literally just for selling. We don't need 600 armor polishes. Already had a couple of spares before. Um, and that'll do for the moment. Alright. Now we make some more... It's actually just one more life force potion. And I think we're reasonably stocked up on everything for the moment. Let's get some more uh, shine potions. What did we just run out of? Blink root, no doubt. Blink root is the worst. need a huge blink root garden for mediocre results. trees here. I guess I did at some point because I've explored that area to the left. Okay, why am I still carrying this lightning aura rod? Chuck it back in here. Shiverthorn goes here. Blank root goes here. And all is right with the world. Night Owl Potions. Swiftness Potions. Cool. I think we're ready to try again. Let's try not dying immediately this time. Alright. Uh, homing bullets. Some kind of piercing arrow. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. Sto snowman cannon. Where did we put it? I don't think I did put it anywhere. Here it is. It's uh, rather expensive to re-roll, if I recall correctly. Ruthless? It's not the worst. We can do better. Murderous, no. Quick. Godly. I can live with godly. Alright. And then we need a whole lot of explosive rockets. Uh, as opposed to the non-explosive kind. I'm pretty sure we can only buy the good ones at night, though. Uh, I I would only have to wait six minutes for that. I think it's rocket three. That just straight up does more damage, probably a bigger area, does not destroy tiles. Avenger Fox, thank you for the follow. 
Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I remember this. I, I remember thinking it was from Calamity. This uh, silly little drone thing. I guess it would be hard to make something like that with a mod. I wonder to what extent I could cheese a boss with proximity mines. Do you think Rocket 1 is good enough? No, the whole point of this is to quickly murder the worm thing that can very, very quickly murder us. Nope. I think we're going to have to wait till night time to buy better rockets. And I should make some money before then. I do know exactly a way to make a lot of money that we can do. Um, if I don't still have a stockpile already. Nope. Okay, truffle worm time it is. Let's go... Oops. I think I'll go mage for the moment. So that we can spam a bunch of... Decently powerful stuff for free, basically. Don't have to farm any resources. Whoops. Where's my honey? And I need the bug net to be easily accessible. Alright. I should also clear out all these mushrooms so that we can easily see the worms. Oops. Uh, where's my bubble gun? No! Don't want to be wasting chlorophyte bullets. The last thing I want to be doing, actually. Where... Where did this pet come from? Get the hell out of here. Is it actually activating because it's in my void bag? Oh god, that was close. It's not here. So yeah, I think it is activating because it's in my void bag. I really hate this pet. It's so distracting. And I hate that it prioritizes that pet over... Oh. Yeah, no, it does. It prioritizes that pet over my pet that I've got... That I've put in this slot. That I've... That I've selected. Bruh. Get out of here. Somehow I never found the fish run pet particularly distracting. I guess because it doesn't look like an enemy projectile that chases you, like some kind of homing missile or something. Probably just hang out here, this is where the worms tend to spawn and get stuck more. Maybe I should add a um, water candle to this place now that I'm able to handle it. How about a water candle and a peace candle that we could switch between depending on what I'm trying to do here. Um, 
Mushroom workbench. Give me some light. Water candle and peace candle. There we go. Travel worms count as monsters as far as the spawning is concerned. So this will help us farm them quicker. And they do sell for double digit gold. I think it's like seven of them or something. I'll give you one platinum. It's night time. What was I waiting for night time for? Oh yeah, to buy rockets. Seven. That was kind of close. All right, let's see how much money we get for eight truffle worms. Make it nine. Make it ten. Oh, that was kind of close. All right. Ten truffle worms. Maximum sell price. One plat, 26. That's pretty good. That is a pretty reasonable rate of getting gold when we can DPS our way through that place. Now, it's the cyborg that we need to talk to. I can't fall faster. Uh, I hate it already. We need some Rocket 3. It's also... Rocket 3 is a material and Rocket 1 is not. Oh, that difference in damage is not insignificant. 59 versus 96. Alright, we're going to grab as much as we can. So that we don't have to wait for night time to buy these at some point in the future. And that should just about do it. We'll keep one of these stacks on hand. At the very least. Alright, so in theory, hopefully, we should be ready. Let's try not to die. We got our chlorophyte bullets, we got our piercing arrows. We've got our spammable homing rockets that can't hurt us. We've got ranger damage. Uh, where is it? Ranger damage, which I didn't swap this last time. Whoops. And I think that'll do. All right, here we go again. Good luck. Don't move straight through me, that is so rude. Maybe I shouldn't have done this at night. I think it's time for rockets. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like two or three rockets. 
to clear out the worm. Very cool. Also, uh, I remember these rockets are absolutely relentless, so if they miss, um, they're going to turn around and they're never going to give up chasing this guy. Maybe I should just use the rockets. They're not as good for straight DPS against one target. Uh, I think the... I think the bullets are the way to go until it's time for the worm to show up. Like now. Isn't it worm time? Did it already die? No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 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 All right. Can I heal, please? When? 43 seconds. That's... That's a little longer than I'm comfortable with right now. Okay. Where's the boss? There he is. Maybe I should use more of the map. Yeah. Instead of going around in circles. Keep him chasing me. This is a lot easier. Just don't run into an island or something. Worm should be coming soon. Keep moving away from it. Did we kill it already? I need to change direction at some point. How about now? Seems good. running out. There's the one. Easy enough. When we have the right weapon and tactic. Ow. this guy with rockets and the worm should just get clapped pretty much. We're almost there, kind of. That was closer than it should have been. Could have swapped gravity sooner. Worm incoming, I think. Apparently not. Should probably be trying to use the bullets a bit more, but that means staying a bit closer. Which isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. As long as we're moving far, fast enough away when the worm spawns. dead, yes. That's rude. If I'm failing to even manage to see the worm, we know we're doing something right. Where is he? Almost there. Almost there. Get wrecked. Fantastic. Alright. We are officially at the end game.
So here's our ancient manipulator. Here's our horrible, horrible pillars. Um, what do I want to get first? Probably the vortex pillar, just so we have a gun. Or I could go mage. Vortex is like sort of the easiest one, but it's also still incredibly dangerous. Alright, let's put down our ancient manipulator. Um, we can't do anything with it, I don't think, until we get some shinies. Worried about chimeras anymore. Does T-Hax have a cat? Uh, no. I did have a cat, though. I love a good cat. T... T-Cat Hacks? What? The West dude? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need to convince T-Hax to get a cat and cat cam? Uh, I'm not even allowed pets here. I need to... Find somewhere else to be. It's... You may have heard the rental situation is not the best in this country. We have a... Wandering salesman. Nothing I'm particularly interested in, though. Alright. Uh, while we've still got buffs, or a little bit of buff left, let's try and... Make some progress on the pillar. I haven't actually come up with... Well, I have one bit of new cheese that I want to attempt uh, against the solar pillar, but other than that, I don't really have anything new. Step 4, add TTS for bits? There's already TTS for bits. But there has been for a long time. The snowman cannon is quite effective, though. This is about as easy as it gets for ammo that you can just buy. This cat 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 bacon 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 air weight hamburger hamburger uh no birthday cake birthday cake ba that's right. It's cat, 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 cat. What? What? I'm, I'm a little confused and concerned. But thank you very much for the bits, Westu. Oh, I forgot. These shotgun guys aim these days. They used to only be able to shoot horizontally. And were almost never a threat. But now they're incredibly dangerous. You can see them charging up their shot with a, like, shiny, though. Don't be close to them, and be moving laterally compared to them. Oh, I forgot to kill, um, the Empress of Light. Would you prefer chicken plus fire equals chicken leg? Bow and arrow plus bull's eye plus deer equals cut of meat. Woman plus baby equals breastfeeding. What do you mean, would I prefer? Those sound accurate. What? What? Um, but thank you again for the bits. Oh yeah, water. Water is kind of our friend. Because we can walk on it and others can't. I shouldn't have gone left there. That could have been bad. In 
1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Uh oh. Today, still wanted by the government, uh -oh. they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you Wait, have is problem, that what I think it if is? No one else can yeah, help, it is. And if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A team. Uh huh. Um, let's let's drop our stuff and regen and stuff. Uh, thanks again for the biddies, Wes. There's got to be a bunch of crap in my void bag, right? Why did it go for the door first? Alright, we have two spare elf melters. A rocket launcher, which is just worse than the snowman cannon in every way. Uh, wedding gear. Sell, 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 sell. Lizard power cells, which I'll never be able to use, because the um, the summoner thing got destroyed instantly by lava. I think I will put the slimy saddle back on. And... Let's make a bit more room. Alright. Back to base. Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. Don't turn your back. Don't look away. And don't blink. Good luck. Or the weeping angels will get you. Oh no. Uh, I think we're like 20-30% into the vortex pillar, right? How much? I've got like practically infinite rockets. Uh, I don't want to consume every buff I have for this, but we should at least increase our health and damage and stuff. Don't know if heart reach will help, but it's very common. If you really want me to go off the rails, I don't think anyone's asking you to go off the rails. What is even going on, indeed? <laughs> It's West Dude's bi-monthly TTS spam. Uh-oh, 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 When I wake up in the morning, and the alarm gives out a warning, and I don't think I'll ever make it on time. By the time I grab my books, and I give myself a look, mm, I'm at the I know corner just one. in time to see the bus fly by. It's alright. If the teacher pops a test, I know I'm in a mess, and my dog ate all my homework last night. Riding low in my chair, she won't know that I'm there. If I can hand it in tomorrow, it will be alright. It's alright, because I'm saved by the bell. It's alright, because I'm saved by the... It's alright, because I'm saved by the... It's alright, because I'm saved by the bell. Yes. Yes, it is. No queens. I don't want to let queens grow up. Uh, I'm a bit low on health, so I don't really want to cause more of those to spawn right now. I didn't know the lightning thing could spawn when we're not even uh, in the zone of the vortex pillar. I should really go back and increase my maximum health as well. I called my cable provider and said I wanted the conspiracy theory channel. The nice representative on the phone said there was no such thing. I told her, that's what they want you to think. Yes. Thankfully our jungle pylon is not uh, under a pillar like the desert pylon is. You can unmute? Wait, what?
Uh, thanks again for the biddies, Wes. What should I... Oh yeah, that's right. I was looking for... For life fruit. Should definitely have a hunter potion when we go into the jungle. If we prefer to live. Speaking of... It's kind of hard to see for all the explosions. There's one. Can I teleport in there? Yes. Just five to go. Just four to go. Should really have some as is light in here. Just three to go. They're a lot easier to find after you give it some time. I keep forgetting I don't have a free spready weapon for slot one. Uh, one, two, three. We need two more. One more. And that's it. Should have done that a little sooner. There it is. Maximum hit points. Now let's go after the Vortex Pillar. I have an itchy TTS spam. I haven't done Friday in months. Oh no. Please have mercy. Um, do I still have all the buffs? I oh, crap. Unlike other Vortex Pillars, there's nothing specifically around this Vortex Pillar that kills you. Since we're down to 36 enemies that we need to clear before we can kill it, we should probably stay relatively close. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, you know what? All buffs. I'm gonna use grav potions here. It's very easy to run out of space on the ground. enough. Definitely the easiest uh, vortex pillar if you're careful. Still need another 19 kills before we can clear the bloody thing. Ouch. aggressive. I feel like um, these guys aren't being given the same treatment as a lot of other common enemies in For the Worthy, where they deal way more damage to us. I guess they're considered to be broken enough as it is. Just a few more. it. We can hit the pillar now. Shoo. 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 
shoe. Where is it? Oh my god, every time I think I can focus it, they spawn in exactly the wrong spot. There we go. I said, there we go. There we go. Gimme, gimme. New weapon time. Chain gun, it was nice knowing you, but it's time to upgrade. Fortunately slash unfortunately, we'll never get a better weapon like the snowman cannon. Alright, so we've got... Quick stack. 69 Vortex Fragments, nice. And we should be able to make both of these, yes. Vortex Beta and Phantasm. Vortex Beta gives us... Well, I don't want to waste Chlorophyte Bullets to demonstrate it. Uh, spams, it's very loud. <laughs> Noise warning. Uh, spams out regular bullets oh, it's been, at, at quite a pace, but they're very inaccurate. Maybe not quite as inaccurate as the chain gun. Um, but those that little blue thing there is actually a, grena a homing grenade. Which doesn't even cost any special ammo. So we've already, we've always got some kind of free homing grenade if we so desire. But I'll be using this with homing bullets. If you're going to go for straight damage, you may as well go for a bow. So if we're using guns, we're using homing bullets. Let's re-roll it. Um, Reforge. Quick. Frenzying. Awkward. Quick. But for demonic, since I'm low on gold, we'll go with demonic, and then time for phantasm, which will make uh, the tsunami obsolete. I mean, I think tsunami will probably out DPS it in like the first second, but. Phantasm gets faster and faster. Let's get some test arrows for that as well. 16 pyramids left to visit. Nice. Uh, Alright, Phantasm and it's crap roll as well. Unfortunate. Oh, I forgot to... I actually swapped out the wrong thing there. Uh, but yeah. Phantasm gets faster and faster. Doesn't look like much, but when the arrows hit, it shoots like an extra arrow that can't miss. Does it work against the um, target dummies? Nope. So this DPS that we're seeing here is not representative of the final product. But it's still 1600. Alright, let's grab some better arrows. Probably venom arrows if I'm gonna bother with a bow. We've still got 5.9k homing bullets. And I was thinking of going back to where? I already got my max life. Oh, just to farm some some gold. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I completely forgot to fight the... Uh, 
Empress of Light. But I'm gonna have to, like, leave a pillar up. Probably the Stardust Pillar, if I'm gonna fight her. Let's get this stuff out of the way first. I have a plan which may or may not work, considering how far th how far away this is from the pillar. I've never tried it before either, so even if it is close enough to try this, I don't know if it'll work. Let's put away the unreal tsunami. And I should make a chest for these Vortex Fragments. I usually like to put a Martian chest. We, we haven't done the Martian event. How about a Marble chest? I think I have one spare here. Alright, so Fragments go there. And... Let's go try this cheese against the solar pillar. Oh. Okay, I have some really specific cheese in mind that I'd like to try. It's gonna be a bit trickier though. What slot should I put this in? I haven't used the rainbow rod in forever. Let's go F. This will be a good way to test it, and then we'll see if we can... You know what? Grab potion's kind of cheap. Let's just try... Oh. Um... On second thought, because I'm going to be spamming bullets like crazy... I think I'll go for some cheap bullets. Actually, some good knockback bullets would be better for this. Let's get some splody bullets. Explosive powder. Should be more than enough. Uh, I certainly hope we've got enough empty bullet casings, because... yeah, we do. Because we can't really visit the, uh, the arms dealer right now. Hi, Andri. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put the hallowed headgear here. And, yeah, I'm going to need craft potions regardless. How many more can I make right now? Uh, it's probably feathers and blink root is the problem here, but that's plenty. Alright, so we have uh, cheap bullets. Wait. Yeah, here we go. Golden bullet? That's not what I wanted. Why do I even have golden bullets in my inventory still? Alright. Exploding bullet. Strong knockback. A little bit of AoE. See if the knockback even does anything against these threats. But first, first thing I want to try is get up on that island. Or under it. See if we're close enough to the pillar. I hear the noise. I hear the music, rather. No, I think we're too high. Alright, plan B, which I was rather hoping we wouldn't need. A 
does standing on a tile like this upside down oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap uh no 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 shoot 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 okay that's way too oh god I can't believe how much damage that one projectile did. So it's a little hard to set up, but what I'm trying to test is if we use a grab potion and stand on a ceiling too high for the melee enemies to, to attack us. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a It wasn't overconfidence. I know this place is super dangerous. Um I'm hoping we can cheese it by not being airborne in the air. That's the plan. Alright, let's try a little harder this time. I don't think I need light. Movement, damage resistance, go away. Seafood dinner. Heart reach, max life. And... Grav? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Nice. Why does it have to spawn, like, two seconds in? At this rate, my usual flying trick would be easier, even though it's quite dangerous. So, yeah, sure enough, we can... Uh... Stay relatively safe up here. No. Maybe if we had... Could you die, please? Uh, maybe if we had a convenient floating island, that would be a very good tactic. But, uh... So that they, like, spawn above us. And then they, can't, they, they like, fall past us sometimes. But with the terrain that we happen to get this time, um, it's really not working. So instead, um, we're just going to try infinite flight, which normally I do with the soaring insignia, not a gravity potion. This might actually be way more dangerous than I realized. Oh god. I can't fall fast enough even with dashing. Maybe I should have zigzagged. If I'm falling upward, I can't use the slime mount to fall faster. But with the soaring insignia, we can easily outrun... Our acceleration at first is a bit low, but we can actually easily outrun those worms. Really incredibly obnoxious, arbitrary punishment for flying. Um... And it's not like it's, like, reasonable to stay on the ground against those enemies, either. We'll demonstrate that. We'll try it with these, uh, explosive bullets. See if they're even remotely good at keeping the, the tide back. We're already having to go to the sky. And it's like only a very small matter of time before our luck runs out. Doing stuff like that. I don't think the explosive bullets are accomplishing anything against these guys. I could make myself little walls. But the, uh, 
that one type of enemy, the Srolla or whatever it's called, likes to go through walls anyway. Is this gonna... it's actually gonna come all the way over here, the uh, corruption. Okay. Well... We could either very slowly clear the solar pillar... Or... Instead... We've already cleared one of the ones on the left. I'm not liking the terrain if I'm going to fight the uh, the Empress of Light over here. I'm not loving it here either, but the sky is a lot more open. So I think I'll try clearing this place instead. I should be using homing missiles here. Much better. Now, what is it called? The Nebula Pillar is pretty damn easy, or it would be, except for one enemy. And there it is. Uh, one enemy that likes to teleport directly behind you and shoot you with very overpowered projectiles that move very quickly. Do not mess around with those. They'll two-shot you, teleport home as soon as you take one hit from them. Rip NPCs. Although, judging by this so far, maybe they nerfed them. The, the teleporting is being far less aggressive so far than it used to be. It used to be like three times in three seconds they would appear right behind you no matter where you were going. So far, this is actually pretty easy. Dangerous, but easy. Just keep doing circles in the air. Whenever we know there's a floater. should be healing instead of just waiting for the regen, especially since I'm not wearing a band of regeneration. Maybe I should be. Oop, that was bad. I got lucky spreading that needle. Where is the enemy? Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Out of grav. difficult to overstate the value of being invulnerable to one hit about every 30 seconds. Especially when everything hits so damn hard. Halfway there. Does 
There's 44 enemies to go. Uh. Not Terraria's finest moment. The pillars. Seven thousand. I think we'll be okay. Thirty three to go. Oh, that was close. Sneaky. I have no doubt they nerfed how aggressively these things teleport. It used to be damn near impossible to avoid them. to go, 13 to go, maybe skip the grav potion, maybe, oh that's a bit dangerous, Time to go to town. Let's go. And it's done. Fantastic. You are overwhelmed with pain. Holly the nurse has arrived. Good timing. Estimate that. Okay. Mum's dealer is still absent. We can make some mage stuff now. Um, it's really not the best mage stuff. We get a kind of awkward, if good on paper, homing missile spam. I'm never using Rainbow Rod at this point. I think I'll put it away. I'm actually kind of liking the idea of having an Ice Rod handy. Put a wall between me. Then again, we're about to finish the game, so what the hell. Not a whole lot of regular enemies left to use them on. Uh, but we can make... Nebula Blaze. And Nebula Arcanum. Pretty powerful, but kind of awkward spells. Uh, but more importantly, we've got the sky much more freed up to try and fight the Empress of Light. 
Or I could just skip the Empress of Light and try killing the Moon Lord with uh, Grav Potions instead. But like I noted, trying to avoid those worms. Um, the extra flight speed that we get from Empress is not to be sneezed at. Alright, in that case, give me some homing bullets. I'm sure most of these are going to go to waste. Because we're going to die. And then I need a... Prismatic Lace Wing. Let's go get one. Oh, I think they can only appear before midnight, so let's hurry up. I've got like 90 seconds. Didn't I have a way to like teleport and then get to this spot much quicker? Oh well. As long as we find one. I do have the guide to critter companionship, so we're not going to accidentally kill it. Assuming it spawns. Is that it? No. I do have the uh, water candle here as well to maximize our chances. But I'm not seeing it. Thirty seconds left. Show me a lace wing, please. No, I think we're gonna miss it tonight. Or does it only appear before like nine PM? I can't remember. Oh, that's a strange plant. Well, whatever the case, we've definitely missed it. The Lace Wing only spawns relatively early in the night, so that you actually have a chance. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Fantastic. Well, we're not fighting her tonight. During the day, she one-hit kills you. Uh, whether you started the fight during the day or not. Alright, so what's next? I think it's in the void bag. Yes, indeed. I'm pretty sure I didn't... Uh, I might have found one of these before. Nope. I thought it was in here. Could make some more money. Clear out one of the pillars. There's only two left. I could try chipping away at the uh, solar pillar the conventional way. Or I could just pay Chlorophyte Bullets. Pretty damn effective, actually. Whoops. What happened here? What happened to my lovely Oasis? Very weird. Once we get close enough to the solar... We're not going to need 
night vision. Oh my god. Die already. They're so tanky. Well, it doesn't matter if we kill them outside of the range of the pillar, they still count. We just have to kill a hundred of them eventually. Oh my god. As is light? Okay. As is light. That actually does suppress them, or at least some of them. Aziz, light. Why are we Aziz lighting again? Oh, that's... no, 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 no. Not a fan of that. And this isn't too bad. Except for you. with content to spam infinite arrows. I, I despise those rebounds. Whew, that was close. Let me out. I hate the pillars. I hate the solar pillar. Double plus despise the solar pillar. It is not fun or fair. I was meaning to just stay on the side and chip away at it, but things happened. So at 7.30 p.m. I want to fight the Empress and probably start over here. Is what I would say if not for the fact that you have to start the fight in the Hallow. I'm pretty sure if you teleport away you're just dead. So it's not like I'm going to start it here and then teleport to the ocean. So I basically need to lure her over this way. Try not to die into the pillar while I'm flying around fighting her. I don't like that at all. Let's just try killing the pillar. But yeah. I've never seen anything that quite so aggressively forced players into trying to invent cheese. You really do get punished hard for trying to play the solar pillar normally. like two more of them to spawn and come back and hope we can avoid that thing killing us as we jump over these guys that was that was from stepping into the pillar zone for like one second by the way Stop rebounding projectiles. The one thing that I should be using against you. Oh, 
we're halfway there. This is with pretty much the best DPS we can get, by the way. I guess that works. I guess this is what we're doing. Fun. Uh, I'm not going over there to get one shot. Let's heal up first. Once we do kill enough enemies, I can just stand here and artillery it with the uh, phantasm. We're immediately cut off. At least a worm didn't spawn. Sneaky blood jellies. Oh, yeah, and these enemies never drop gold as well. We're kind of stuck. Kind of... kind of very stuck. Yeah, no. The pillars are a joke. see nine minutes until we fight Empress of Light. I would love to clear this before we do that. That's cool. I didn't want to keep that uh, potion of return anyway. Didn't see there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fly across the entire screen in half a second. Just use the explosives, they can never reflect those. DPS isn't as good, of course, but... DPS really isn't as good. Oh wow, one hit! Yeah, cool, great. Not ridiculously incentivized to find complete cheese to fight this at all. Nope. Why did I just hear a food eating noise the moment I respawned? Oh, it brought back my pet. I think that's why. 
Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't notice. I don't know how many more we need to kill. Probably like 40. No, they're still stuck here. I don't know. Solar Pillar makes me think that, like, the devs look at a speedrunner finding a way to break a boss and say, we should make it so that regular players have to do things like that. literally poke your head into the solar pillar for like two seconds and with conventional movement and stuff you might just find yourself completely stuck just long enough for some of these to spawn the rockets actually no no means no. Stop it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's cool. Uh, literally fly across the entire half of the screen in 0.7 seconds, already spinning from before I could see you. That, that seems fair. Utterly ridiculous. Um, I should probably pay attention and see how many more kills we need this time. That'll do. Probably take a calming potion. We need oh zero. Uh, but I literally poked my head in for one second and got trapped. That's nice. It had opened the HP bar, indeed. It's difficult to exaggerate that. Like, literally, I walked in for just long enough to check the HP bar, and I immediately started going back, and I was, like, trapped to the point where if I didn't teleport, I would have died. Tiroir de Pins, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. So what I'm going to try to do here... I know it can go a long way, I just don't know how far it can go. Um, it's actually possible... Well, first of all, let me get infinite arrows. We don't need high DPS ones. For this. So what I'm going to try and do is arch um, some arrows from the phantasm multiple screens across. I'm pretty sure we can do it from close enough, uh, from far enough away that none of the uh, golden enemies are going to spawn. 45 degrees would be maximum range, right? Oh, we got something. There's a bit of a spread on this. Not all of them are hitting, but uh, not all of them need to.
Good thing we have this feedback with this bow telling us that we're hitting. Tells us our DPS as well. It's not that low. That peaked at 672 or so. So if we're doing like 400, hitting the... Uh, Hitting the pylon, then I'd say we're doing well. Are we not hitting? There we go. Where is it? Did we get it? No, the music didn't change yet. There we go. And believe me, if I could kill the solar pillar, uh, solar pillar without ever even seeing one of those enemies, I would. It doesn't play fair, neither should you. Alright, we have solar fragments. They make some pretty good weapons. Particularly if you like hitting enemies through walls. More importantly, uh, we've opened up some space on the entire right three quarters of the map. Uh, and also the Stardust Pillar is, a, is relatively unthreatening. If we're fighting a boss. Uh, what time is it? 8.12 p.m.? Should we try? I'm not fully prepared. I don't have endurance potions. I don't have plus damage 10% potions. Um, but I kind of want to try just for a warm-up, to be honest. I don't expect to beat uh, Empress of Light on the first try in any case. Unless I was literally practicing it daily. So we need to go to... The Hallow. In order to start this boss fight. And then we run and scream and cry until she kills us. Oh, there's another lace wing. That's handy. We'll be able to try again. Alright. Turn off the water candle. I need to disable this and... That's not how that works. How do I release one of these? There we go. Kill it. And run away. Oh god. Oh, oh god. She, she just ran straight into me. Okay. 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 I can't remember her arbitrary rush at you rules. Okay. 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 This is... Not the easiest boss fight in Terraria. Alright. So far so relatively decent, considering. Don't let her charge into you. We're actually 40% of the way through already, don't get caught by this. Oh 
with this. Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Keys fumbling. No, bad. Move. Wrong weapon. There we go. Uh, we might actually beat her on the first try. Don't want to jinx it. But it's too late. stuck. Stop it. Stop it. No. Okay. 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 No! She was on like 10%. That was a really good first try. Especially considering I didn't even remember her patterns or anything. It definitely helps to have a Vortex Beater with homing bullets to start with. Um, I'm pretty sure For the Worthy didn't change anything about Empress of Light. Hero Rex, I got the Zenith? Nice. Also, good job on the fight. Thank you. How many bullets did we go through? About 2,000? So we can attempt that a couple more times. It also only took half the night, so we could try this twice in one night. Also, we were like 10... We, we, we did like 90% damage to her. I was missing a 10% damage buff. Uh, and maybe I shouldn't have had Charm of Myths on either, that would have been another 12%. Yeah, it's definitely doable. We don't have to keep that up for as long as I was expecting. Would have had her? Quite likely, yeah. Also, if I didn't panic uh, and fumble keys and lose track of where I was... Um, that would have been good too. Alright, time to farm up some stuff. I should probably... get some money and re-roll... Uh, the Vortex Beater. So let's look for some truffle worms. Ten for a platinum. I would estimate maybe five plat on average to get an unreal vortex speeder. Which, the difference in damage, uh, actually we've already got plus 14% and 5 crit, so I don't think uh, Unreal Vortex Beater would have made that much difference. I'd still prefer to have it. Forgot I wasn't a mage right now. you. Get out of here. The 
Rune Wizard has one job. To one hit kill you when you didn't realize it could come and get you. Beware. Once you're in hard mode. Once you're deep enough. Alright, that's nine truffle worms already. I keep forgetting I have the snowman cannon. We got it so easily this run. Such a cheap and easy way to deal with things. Oh, hello. I don't really mind fighting you right now. No, 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 no. I didn't think it would fall that way. Luckily I had main vulnerability up. Unpleasant flying knife. Flying knife. I don't remember... Oh, there it is. Oh, this thing. Yeah, that's a good weapon. If you get it early enough. Which we didn't. It's kind of like a magic missile for melee users. It's a little bit awkward, but it gets the job done. At the cost of zero mana. enough truffle worms for now. 13. 14. Let's go see what we can reroll. Oops. Reforge. Maybe I should have stuck with superior there. Uh, I accidentally quick stacked my truffle worms. We've got 15 spare. And that is 1.89 flat. Fantastic. Where's my beta? Unpleasant, no. Unreal, there it is. Fantastic. 98 ranged damage with the homing bullets. Are you going to do the Calamity mod? I already played Calamity up to a point. I wasn't that in love with it. I liked it earlier on, but um, the boss design, the further into the game you get, the more obnoxious it gets. And they try and make Terraria into a bullet hell, but you don't have the movement mechanics for a bullet hell. It really doesn't work. Also, bosses that take up like seven screens. Also... Uh, that worm thing that kills you instantly if you dare to use a teleport in the abyss. Feels like a bad joke to me. That one green boss that flies around on top of the jungle. Um, abused the hell out of that mechanic where... It doesn't matter what your velocity is, or your acceleration, it will just arbitrarily match position with you. And if you try to get around it, or like above or below it, to get to the other side, you will just run into it. No matter what. Um... Oh, 
Oh yeah, I need to do some potion farming. Unfortunately. We're very much at the point in the game where we can just delete common enemies. We're looking for Hemoprana. That's for the... Uh, actually, that's for Rage Potion. We've, got, we've still got a few Rage Potions. We need to fish uh, the Corruption instead. But since I'm already here, I'll take a couple more. that I think is here. Despite the danger. So we're looking for Ebon Koi. Those spores really are Turning out to be much better than I expected to help with fishing. I think we got one Ebon Koi so far. Ow! Okay, okay, that would have killed me if I touched that. <laughs> oh god! Don't die to lava, that would be too embarrassing. Let's get a little food going. Little region going. And... Back we go. A dad... A dad joke's okay. Oh no. I'm worried. Uh, I should have brought some mud so I can swap this out. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing includes magnet. So I can just go F2 to do a quick treasure magnet. Please to be giving some more ebon coin? What is that flashing? Is that just crystal? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's just crystal shards. So why are we getting so few spawns this time? This is much easier to fish. Ebon coin number two. Ebon coin number three. Fantastic. Number four. Armored cave fish, we're all also looking for that. Number two, fantastic. Uh, a golden carp and evidently a full inventory. What should I scrap? Um, I have a wraith banner. really need to do something about my inventory situation. 
I'm not using this, I'm not using this, I'm not using this. Let's put those away. I think I'd really enjoy the flamethrower type weapons more, but you just get them too late. They're not comparatively good. I don't need this here anymore. And I think we've got everything we need to at least make a few of the potions I'm looking for. What? Does Quickstack take from the Void Bag? Surely not. Maybe it does. Ebon Koi. Yeah, I think it does. Oh, huh, since when? Oops. Rip bullets. Endurance potion. Five. A few rage potions. And wrath. Hopefully that's the edge we need. Running low on bacon as well. 5.4k bullets is more than enough. We went through like 2k to almost kill her. That was further than I realized it would be. Nothing too exciting here. I think we've got enough rockets stashed away for now. And I'm not using exploding bullets. They were actually incredibly disappointing against the solar totem. totem. All right, three minutes, and we'll fight Empress of Light. Might take a little break here, actually. Let's do some words on stream. Grab some water and stuff. Might grab some more Chlorophyte as well. I can make five more. That's a whole 300 bullets. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Wait. I didn't have to, like, click on the thing this time. Hey, they improved words on stream. Nice. All right. So start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, no we don't. Let that level finish and we'll get back to the main attraction. We've got one minute left if we want to start fighting uh, Empress of Light as early as possible. Which I don't think we have to worry about that much. Uh, like I said, we do seem to have time to kill her twice in one night. But I still prefer to be ahead of the curve there. Alright. Now uh, you're done. Level 2 complete. Fantastic. Nicely done. And let's get back to the game. Alright, so we have another 63 Chlorophyte Ore. That makes... 13... 13 bars, and multiply that by 60. 780 Chlorophyte Bullets. Not too bad. Oops, and then I wasted a couple, because I'm so used to slot 1 having something that I can just throw out for free. We got all the Venomarus, plenty of chlorified bullets, uh, plenty of rockets, not that we'll be using those. Oh, and it's time to start. Um... Alright, teleport. Actually, probably shouldn't be going this way. Where am I? That's probably fine. Do I have all the potions? I'm pretty sure I do. Alright. Let's buff, let's cancel book, let's chuck this thing out, let's run away, and be terrified. That's not where I want to be. Fantastic. Uh, which view should I use here? Probably the one with the mini-map in the corner. That was a good telly. And that was not. So far so decent. Got plenty of room left in the sky. Get away from the stars. Nope, nope, that was bad, that was bad. But we had invulnerability. This is good. Where is she? Oh, that's not the way I should have gone. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Give me my invulnerability back. Oh crap, 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 oh crap. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. No, 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 uh, close. We've got plenty of stuff to try again, except for a lace wing. We do not have a lace wing. Oh, 
How could I have improved that? Um, honestly, just knowing the dance better. Knowing her moves before she actually does them. Alright, let's turn on... Torch. I don't know if we can still find a lace wing. I thought that they stopped spawning at midnight, but I think I saw one a little bit after that. The other night. I'll give it a minute. And then, what should I spend my time on? While I wait for the next day. swing is spawning here. Not tonight. I could gank deer thing. Not really any point to it. I'm pretty sure we're past needing unicorn horns, right? one of the other events, I guess. But in terms of progression, there's no need. I could go for the uh, UFO summon, which is really, really hard to get. I don't really think there's anything to do. Uh, I really don't feel like fishing or farming right now. How much money do we have? One plat? Is there a better way to make money than... Truffle worms? Or just a different way so we can do something different? Probably spam clear a certain boss. Oh, the pirates. Yeah, we could do the pirates. We should be able to absolutely embarrass the pilots, pirates now. I think mage would be better for that, though. So we can spam a bunch of homing spells. Oh, but we've got Snowman Cannon. Let's try Snowman Cannon against the pirates. Put this back. I'm pretty sure this will be sufficient. Take some basic pots. Or some cheap ones, rather. Hunter Potion's not that cheap, but it's not that expensive either. And I don't want to die to a pirate that I didn't see. Uh, yeah, I think we're a little bit past the pirates. Just a, just a wee tab. Did, did the pirates... <gasps> Coin gun! 
We killed like two pirates and we got the coin gun. <laughs> but what happened? Uh, the pirate invasion just stopped. Is it because... No? It's not time of day. What happened to the pirates? I can't summon another one. Is the event still going? Oh, it's probably... They're approaching, yeah. It's weird that we saw two of them already. Okay, then. I'll definitely take that shark fin. New strat. Farm money for 600 years and then use platinum coins against Moon Mod. This is just bullying. Not really able to focus fire with the rockets though. Not again. I literally just killed you in that exact same position. up after it gets out of the water. Where's our flying Dutchman and why is the water doing that? Who let the pirates in and left the door open? The uh, snowman cannons even better than expected against the Dutchman. Captain Morgan was slain. Well, that's what you get for opening the door to pirates. I should really use some uh, system with actu actuators next time. Although I'd have to get the... Uh, I'd have to find a mechanic before I can start building it. Alright, pirates have been defeated. Shut the front door. Fantastic. And maybe now the ocean will stop being slopey. There's so much gaudy crap on the ground, I can't even carry it all. Let's go put it where it belongs. Um, did I run out of shark fins? I did. We've got one left. Alright, gaudy stuff in the gaudy chest. We got a lucky coin. I think the last thing we're looking for still is the, um... Yeah, the discount card from the pirates. So the lucky coin doesn't really accomplish anything. Rainbow Brick. Sure. 
Sell, sell, sell. Put this where it belongs. Put this where it belongs. Uh, put this where it belongs. There's a lot of crap in here that I haven't sorted for a while. Sell these, don't care about how much money. Let's get them out of my inventory. Oh hey, me pirate. Will he make it in? Nope. Nope, he's chosen death. Couldn't figure out doors. Well, better luck next time. Can we get a fancy hat from him? No, I don't think so. Let's put these banners away. Get the strange plant sorted out. Wisp die. That might be interesting. David the pirate has arrived and arrived and good luck to him. Oh, he's uh, just spawned right where he's supposed to be. So yeah, that'll that'll probably be sufficient to get him there alive. Wisp die. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting, but... Uh... That's a bit wispy. Okay. We're a wisp now. And there's still a bunch of expensive crap that I didn't pick up yet. What the hell happened to a, the water level of the ocean? Bruh. Hey, discount card! An armored discount card, I believe it said. Fantastic. I think this is the first time I've combined all of these. First of all, this gaudy crap can go in here. Don't care about this either. Discount card. 20%. That is not insignificant. Alright, let's combine them. Reedy ring. Coin pickup range. Shop price is lowered. Hitting enemies will sometimes drop extra coins. Well, All right. And about six minutes before we can fight Empress, but we don't have any prismatic lace wings. So we'll probably have to farm those first for more than a couple of minutes. We've got like six minutes until then. I don't really want to do the pirates again. Queen B is obviously a pushover. Uh, you know what? I don't think I ever did Queen Slime. We can get a slightly better mount. Let's do it. I wonder just how quickly we're going to kill Queen Slime at this point. Pretty sure you have to summon her in the hollow as well. And... 
take her at least a little bit seriously. Where is she? Oh, that's not going to take too long to kill. Shouldn't she be in the air by now? Where is she? She's way down here. What? Now she's flying. That was getting a little uncomfortable. if we can just hit her three times in a row. I think I'll use the homing bullets once she's flying, though. Oh, and I forgot I had a grav potion active. That probably would have made it a little easier to kite. Especially considering gravity affects those projectiles. You know what? Considering the way she chases, we really don't need the homing bullets. And once more with feeling. How much grav do I have left? 33 seconds. Not what I want to hear. Where is she? Let's try and be a bit more aggressive. What's the worst that could happen? See if we got the whole crystal assassin set in one opening. Oh, close. And yes, crystal assassin hood. In fact, we almost got it twice. Beautiful. Alright, let's sell the gelatin stuff, the extra crystal assassin stuff. Oh, and where's our mount? Wait, is it a random drop, or do we always get the mount? I didn't get the the Queen Slime mount? The whole point of killing Queen Slime? Bruh. Ravna. Oh, 
Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, it is time. Let's go see if we can find a lace wing. That artillery bar barrage from the Sharknadoes. There's one, I think. No? I thought I saw a lace wing. There it is. Gimme gimme. Fantastic. Should we start right now or just try and pick up another lace wing first? Let's try and pick up another lace wing or two because if we die we can't farm more of them after 12 p.m. There's one. Fantastic. Maybe one more. And we get one more lace wing. Is that a strange plant? Nope, that's blueberries. I don't think blueberries are that strange. Alright, I think we'll just start the fight instead. As soon as we get rid of these extra enemies. Okay, I should put this in slot three, maybe, where I keep reaching after I teleport. Oh god, oh no, 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 jeez. I thought I suicided by fumbling on the map button. Way there. So far, so decent. Up we go. Don't do me like that. When can I heal? Sixteen bloody seconds wasn't helpful to take the time to look at this corner of the screen. <sighs> Better UI would definitely help there. We do have one more lace wing we could try tonight. Let's just fly over to the left. Actually, uh, it's too late to think about it. Go, go, go. I can't start it by, like, midnight-ish, then it's going to be a little sketchy. Also, this is our last bacon. 
last good food. Oops. Why am I not fully healed yet? Holy crap. Should have paid attention to that. Let's try and perfect her so it doesn't matter. Oh, why am I stuck? Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. When can I heal? 26 bloody seconds. Up in the air. No, let me out. Let me out. Okay, not too, not so bad, not so bad. And then up and to the right. These are actually pretty easy to dodge usually. That wasn't good though. At least we had invulnerability. from all of that. Gordon, get away from the beam. Oh no, no 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 no. That's cool and great how she can fly pretty much straight into your face from off the screen in like half a second. We're so close every time. We're like 5 or 10% off of killing her. Now I have to bloody farm lace wings again, which means waiting the entire day again. This will fast forward it to 4.30 at least. I really despise the cooldown. Having to wait this long before attempting it again means I just don't clearly remember everything I just learned. Um, what, what buff am I missing? Oh yeah, bacon, which is absurdly expensive. But we need every advantage we can get. Party time? Pig Granatas? That's the hairstylist. That's also not the party girl. Where the hell is the party girl? There, there she is. Right. Back to base then. Granata and we need a uh, not multi hook. We need a regular grappling hook. Otherwise this doesn't work. And then we just put pig granata here and grapple into it. And these just get removed the moment that we place them. We already got one bacon, that's pretty good. Three bacon, not bad. Six bait. okay. I'll take it. Six bacon for like one platinum, I'm not complaining. Alright, let's sell this crap. I know I've got like three spare diamond hooks. 
flask of party, get out of here. Alright, we still have like one plat. I think I've still got all the potions. Is there anything else I can do to gain an edge in this fight? I don't think so. It's pretty much as good as it gets. We've even got an unreal vortex beater. Yeah, no, this is pretty much it. Alright, so I guess we go to bed, just so we can... Where is the bed? Here it is. Just so we can get to night time. Um, the bed doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, it's not speeding up time. Oh, okay then. What? What's going on here? Why is time not speeding up? Welp. Maybe I'll try without the, uh... We already killed the... The solar pillar, so maybe I'll try Moonlob without... Soaring Insignia. Mostly because I can't be bothered waiting and waiting and waiting for each attempt. Otherwise I wouldn't mind, like, trying 20 times in a row to beat her. Oh, right, I need to kill these things. That's a thing. You can cheese this pillar pretty easily by getting those, uh sphere things to chase you away. Take them outside of where the dangerous enemies will spawn. Let them reproduce. And then every single one of them that you kill counts. dangerous than they look. Probably one shot us actually. Halfway there. Kinda sucked.
20 to go. Oops, shouldn't have done that. That was close. Here we go. Where's the pillar? There we go. Get out of here. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. One minute till Moon Lord. It's 1.13 p.m. I'm not going to have time to comfortably craft summons. I don't think. Alright, we have all the buffs. Uh, where should we start? Probably one of the oceans. Probably the ocean on the left. I'm not really prepared. But here we go. Less than 10 seconds now. We do have Rod of Discord, that's going to make it a lot easier than usual. If we're ready for the beam. In fact, yeah, the beam is like the threat until you get rid of it, so... Considering how easily we can get around it. As long as we're ready. Gotta watch out for the terrain. What the hell did I just bump into? Yeah, this is uh, easy enough with Grav Potion, obviously. Just keep spamming bullet. Up in the air is better if we're going to avoid the beam, right? Confused for a second there, but it's okay. When is beam? There is beam. We want to maintain a certain distance, uh, especially after we've killed the third eye. Here it comes. And that distance is far enough away to dodge his stuff, especially the normally undodgeable mini beam. And by dodge, I mean just not be caught by it. Uh, but close enough so that he doesn't teleport to catch up to us. Here it comes. And that'll be the last beam that we have to deal with, I think. Probably. Yes. Alright, now we just maintain distance. So that his little mini beam that goes in a circle doesn't catch us, that's completely undodgeable. And so that we could probably dodge things like that if we were competent. Don't forget to re up our grav potion when we need to. Watch out for the terrain. Keep spamming around about where his heart is.
Actually, bow might be better by this point, as long as we can actually hit the target. We do get feedback that we're hitting it, even if we can't see it directly. What the? What was that? You know what? I'm just going to focus on movement. Have some bullets. Seventeen K to go. This is much easier than the Empress of Light, I have to say. Uh, easy to say when we have a lot of Discord. And that's it. I was going to replace the uh, fish run relic with Moon Lord, but why would I replace a relic that took 20 tries to get with the equipment we had at the time with a relic that took one try? Not even worth keeping the trophy. Yep, disrespected Moon Lord. Alright. Uh, let's get some Luminite bars. Ooh, we got the SDMG. 148 ranged damage. Very, very fast. Not as loud. Let's compare the deeps. I kind of need a single target. So we're looking at about 23, let's call it 2,500 on average, versus this one isn't upgraded, uh, about 2,500 or so, except this one's accurate. No, I don't want to kill the owls. Yeah, this one's like very accurate, like, uh... Mega Shark. Much better overall, I would say. We got the Lunar Portal Staff for one of the most broken summons in the game. I mean, it better be. You have to kill the last boss for it. We got the Gravity Globe. We can reverse gravity at will now without a Grav Potion, but it takes an accessory slot. Celestial star, but um, best wings in the game, except that Fish Run lets you dip into water without slowing down. But this one acts as a hoverboard as well, so you can go left and right very, very quickly. Honestly, a hard choice for me. Uh, what is this? Oh, the light pet. Don't even have one equipped. Portal gun? Let's go. Wait, I need to equip it so I can do the secondary fire. Boing. And... Stop it. I wonder if I could just leave the portals there indefinitely. Wait. I never actually tried it for more than a second. If you... If I just go and, like, push... Uh, put this in a box somewhere... 
I'm sure if I save, exit, and come back, it won't be there still, but, like, if you were running a server, would that portal just still be there? Indefinitely? Kinda wish they gave it to you early in the earlier in the game now. Although you can build teleporters, so whatever. We've got 92 Luminite, which I don't think is enough to make a single armor set. Um, we can make Luminite bullets, but why would you? They're basically just like really, really strong high velocity bullets. They pierce, I think they pierce like indefinitely. Um, and they deal a lot of damage, but... Having to farm Moon Lord for damage is maybe a bit questionable. Same goes for the arrows, although I don't remember how the arrows work. Uh, let's see. For a single set, we need uh, 24 plus 12 is 36 bars. We have 23. So yeah, you have to kill Moon Lord twice to get one, one good armor set. Anything else these go into? Tools. Don't know why you really need a new pickaxe other than bling. Uh, we do, of course, need it for the ultimate, the drill containment unit. Need even more bars for that. You could make a jetpack thingy, but. We already have the best wings right here. I guess I could have the, the jetpack for the aesthetic. Void die. I could farm, uh, farm Moon Lord for the Vortex gear so we could kill Empress faster. But I wouldn't get the invulnerabilities. So I'd have to kill her a lot faster. For that to be worth, I think. Oh yeah, and we can make a bottomless shimmer bucket. Oh, for some reason I thought we had to visit the shimmer. To make this happen. Let's get it. Build your own shimmer. Where should I put it? I'm pretty sure this isn't my only uh, bottomless water bucket as well. I think I put the spare over here somewhere. Yep, there it is. So we're not even losing anything. Presumably we need the ancient manipulator. And there it is. Where should we shimmer? How about... Just over here? Alright. Shimmer me timbers. I think I need more shimmer to be able to, like, fall through it. Don't know... Yeah, 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 there it is. Maybe it would be better if we didn't have enough shimmer to just fall through? Can I, uh... Can I mop up the shimmer with a bottomless... Like, with an unlimited sponge? Where's my sponge? 
I don't know where my sponge is. Huh. Did I leave it over here somewhere? That's weird. I don't actually know a whole lot of shimmer recipes. What if I toss in a greater healing potion? I think we need more depth. I'm pretty sure one of the functions shit no! I can't even teleport while this happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of the functions that Shimmer has is... Oh yeah, I can fly up faster with this if I hold it, right? Pretty sure one of the functions of Shimmer is, like, deconstructing things that can be crafted. Oh, what was that? Stone block. What did we drop? What turned into a stone block just then? Alright, how about we drop in a greater healing? I thought it would come back as its components, or is it not deep enough? Should probably put a platform here. To... Now it's going to land on the platform, you absolute derp. Okay, how about this then? Greater healing potion. Nothing? Okay. Slimes, don't bother me. Oh, wait. This thing acts like a sentry, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, shove some stuff in the void bag. The void bag's too full. What am I dropping? Let's see if clay pots turn into clay. They do. But... Greater Healing Potion doesn't turn into its component parts. How about... Toy Tank. I don't think that's going to do anything. Some things turn into the other things that you could have got from a random drop. But I wasn't expecting Toy Tank to be one of them. Uh, wood platforms. Surely enough, they come back as wood. Gravity Globe? I don't think it fell in far enough, even if it was correct. Nope, I don't think it works on Gravity Globe. Um, I don't really think of much else right now. I don't want to try with this. Greater Mana Potion? Probably not. Oh, what about accessories? 
Anything that we combined with the Goblin Tinkerer's table. I wouldn't be shocked if you could undo it. Like Menacing Star Veil. I'm sure we can find something a bit cheaper. Horseshoe Balloon. What? Don't fall in. Oh, hey. I can walk on water. Including Shimmer. Okay. Um, Blue Horseshoe Balloon. Uh, it does undo the combination. Presumably you could go all the way back to whatever original components. I wonder if there's any exceptions. Damn, that beam has some range. Look at it go. <laughs> Uh, you know what, just combine it again. You could just recombine these as many times as you like to get a better roll. Anything else I want to try? What happens if you bulldoze the entire world and replace it all with Shimmer. Who knows. Well, anyway. Um, we did it. We killed Moon Lord on... For the Worthy. Without building a boss fight arena. The only boss fight arena, if you could call it that, that I built, uh, apart from doing a line of explosive resistant blocks just so that Skeletron Prime's bombs wouldn't destroy things, uh, was to demolish some houses in the Demon Town. Because for the worthy... Wall of Flesh has a obscene amount of hit points. Um, and I don't know if it's the size of it or the way it moves or just the number of hit points or something. But the B strategy is nowhere near as useful as it would normally be against the Wall of Flesh. Um, so you're going to need pretty much the entire runway. Um, or like 80% of it or so, to beat Wall of Flesh on For the Worthy, even with good gear. By far the hardest, um, probably the hardest boss fight, at least that I can remember, in the entire playthrough, was, I, I don't want to say the Wall of Flesh itself, it's literally just the imps from the Wall of Flesh. Uh, for the Worthy, Wall of Flesh summons imps extremely often that have fireballs that move much faster, deal much more damage, and the imps fire them much more quickly after teleporting in. It's a nightmare. The Rod of Discord also gets upgraded? Really? Whoa! Um, I wasn't expecting that. Casually killed a moon lord and then brought low by an exploding bunny. Doubly funny because we had this sentry up. Skill issue. Uh, star medal. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, rod of discord. Ooh, Rod of Harmony. Teleports you to the position of the mouse, and there's no downside. You can spam it as much as you like. 
Very cool. The bunny that is, indeed. Very nice. Um, yeah, obviously, after a few more tries, I could kill... Uh, I could get my soaring insignia, but we, we got uh, we got it down to like 2% health or something a couple of times. Um, the Empress of Light. Pretty much a foregone conclusion that it can be done. Plantera would have been pretty nasty. Um, that extra thing that it spawned that got us caught out was bad. We got really, really lucky with... I think there was a Plantera bulb, like, right here on the second attempt. And I was just barely able to run up to the surface to fight her. Although it wouldn't have been possible without the Rod of Discord if I didn't, like, dig a vertical shaft. Uh, because when you get close to the surface, Plantera gets unbelievably fast chasing you. But once you do get to the surface, if you've got uh, Rav Potions or whatever, some kind of infinite flight, you can absolutely cheese her from here. King Slime, uh, not the most difficult boss fight, but by far one of the biggest surprises. Uh, blink and you miss it. it. He'll kill you just like by teleporting from off screen. And there's no escape from it because he takes up so much space. Uh, Brain of Cthulhu was pretty nasty as well. Don't really remember how that went though. I don't want to say, so it couldn't have been that nasty. Fishron? I, I was sort of a little disappointed. Fishron was basically just Fishron. Gollum. Gollum was one of the more interesting surprises. Uh, everything going pitch black and we can't even see the Gollum. Although, if you do have a Hunter Potion, you can see the head when it starts flying around, which unfortunately I'd run out of the first time. Uh, definitely caught me for a loop. I think... Okay, Wall of Flesh is by far the biggest boss fight difficulty upgrade. By far. I haven't seen what... Uh... Eater of Worlds looks like, obviously. It's probably pretty scary. But for the most part, MVP in... At, like, enemies in For the Worthy are just common enemies that one-shot you. Like, if you really know what you're doing... And you're trying to do a hardcore run for For the Worthy, that's what's going to get you. A one shot from some common enemy while you're just trying to get materials or something. Um, but yeah, that do be it. I don't know what I'm going to do next with Terraria. I mean, I guess there's more seeds that I haven't tried. I've never really done a melee-only run. I think any other class... I mean, summoner or mage, if it's, like, strict at the start of the game, could be pretty rough. I can only say well done and thank you. You're truly worthy. Thank you. Um, uh, 
I don't know if I could see myself trying to speedrun this game. I don't think I'd be very good at it. TBH. Could always speedrun the lower difficulties, as I'm sure a lot of them do, but. I don't know. I wouldn't. What about a glitchless one? That might be interesting. Glitchless. Uh, I don't know. Does it count as a glitch if you like build a couple of teleporters? Glitchless arenaless speedrun. Well, no. I've heard good things about some of the mods, but never tried them. Indeed. Yeah, I think I'll try another weird and or tough seed next, probably. I haven't done Zenith. We've done Don't Dig Up, we've done For the Worthy. Alright, uh, I think that's going to be about it for this week, though. Let's see who's streaming Terraria. Terraria butt? What does that mean? Terraria... Oh, butt I. I thought it was like butt. And then pipe. Um, who should we raid today? Terraria master for the worthy... Seed with the boys. Maybe that one. Regular master is going to feel like uh, a bit easier after this. Alright, let me see if this one's got decent quality and stuff. I am peaceful. It seems okay. They're more or less just getting started though. Well, that's fine. I didn't really see anything browsing real quick that looked anything closer to what you're already watching. Whoops. There we go. Take care, Morpheus. Thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Tomorrow I'm taking a day off. Um... After that, if all goes as planned, we'll be continuing, possibly finishing Atrio the Dark Wild. And then it's Oni and back to space exploration for a few days. Till then, stay safe. Now this bitch ain't